During this Black History Month, we take time to share the stories of some of the remarkable African Americans who made their mark here on Delmarva. Today, we're learning about a revolutionary patriot and how a local group is working to honor him. I'd like to introduce to you this afternoon, Helen Seymour. Helen is a member of the General Perry Benson Chapter, Daughters of the American Revolution. Thank yes. you so much for joining us this Good afternoon. Good to be here. I want to talk more about what, what we've got here, but tell me a little bit about your organization. What does the organization do? Well, Perry Benson Chapter, um, really not sure how old they are, um, but they cover really Talbot County, uh, Queen Anne's County and uh, Caroline County as well. Okay. And so um, they've been real, most of these chapters are named for a patriot. And General Perry Benson is from St. Michael's in Talba County. Okay. And so he is uh, at least the one that they chose to represent a chapter. So tell me more about him. He was really very, very interesting. He was actually born at a little place called Wheatlands, which was a farm uh, near Easton, Maryland and all, and uh, was in the revolution in this Maryland line of the 5th Regiment uh, uh, that fought really beginning in Brandywine. Yeah. And uh, through the time, um, he was actually wounded twice. Tell me about the Siege of 96. The Siege of 96 was a fort that is just west of Charleston, South Carolina. And at that point, uh, Benson was, sh was uh, shot. And, and very seriously wounded. Yeah. It was heat of the summertime, and Carney, Thomas Carney, was ordered to take him to the surgeon. And he did, but, and Perry Benson was a big man, and so was Thomas Carney, but it's really, really hot according to the, the reports I've read. Right. So Carney picks him up, puts him on his shoulder, and takes him down to the, where they finally find a surgeon. And that time, Carney wants to go back. But they said, no, you are stay here and guard a Perry Benson. And so he did. And so when Perry Benson comes awake and all, he, he knows then who has saved his life. And so he never forgot him for, right. that, for that time. They were friends forever. Why, why do you feel this story is so significant? I think because of, the, of the, what Carney did, he enlisted in the beginning of the war, he was, he enlisted and they sent him to Brandywine the same week. So he had no training whatsoever other than, you you know, they gave him a gun and a uniform and then fight. so go fight the British. Yeah. And so, um, and then when he comes back, what, what really caught our attention was that he had an obituary. And it's very rare in 1828 for an African American man to have an obituary that's like 10 inches long. Wow. Do I understand now you're trying to find descendants yes. of Thomas Carney? Yes. And this, um, we do know that when Carney died, um, he had some property that right. was some real estate. He had some furniture and things like that. And in this, it lists these descendants. And the one man is Montgomery. Montgomery Carney lived there in Denton for a while, or Denton area. Then he goes over to Delaware. In the meantime, he marries a woman named Rhoda. Yeah. And that's important because then they have a daughter named Rhoda. So there, you have two Rhoda Carneys. Young Rhoda marries a man named Anderson in Delaware. Yeah. And that's where we lose them. So you're trying to find any other descendants from that from point. Rhoda. So if that sounds like something familiar in your family line, yeah. And this would be, now you've got something coming up that you're gonna honor Thomas Carney. What do you, what do you do? We're actually in the process of trying to get a state historic marker for him. Okay. To be placed where he, he lived at the time of his, of his death. And so um, that's, that, they tell me it's going to take a year. It's already been six months and we haven't been turned down yet. Right. So we're hoping, it may, speaking of me, I'm talking about the Perry Benson chapter of the DAR right. is sponsoring this yeah. too. So that would be a goal for, that's the main goal that for us. That would be a wonderful thing to have As happen. well as getting the word out at the fact that this man lived in, in, yeah. in, in, and served. He was very valiant, so. Helen Seymour with the General Perry <laughs> Benson chapter of the DAR, thank you so much for sharing the story with us this afternoon. Thank Absolutely you. incredible and fascinating. Can't wait thank you. to find out more.